Our friends, welcome to our physics class. In this class, I am going to continue the topic physical properties and measurement. In this topic, then uh, today's discussing concept is relative density. What is relative density? In previous class, I explained about relative density. The relative density means the comparison of density of the substance with the density of the water. Now, as per definition, we can write formula, relative density formula. See, comparison means ratio. Ratio of the substance density with the density of the water of equal volume. That means water, both must have same volume and density of the substance by density of the water and with the of equal volume. Here, both, are, both must have equal volume. So now you know as per formula density of the substance by density of water now. Now density formula what? Mass by volume. Then mass of the substance by its volume. Then density of the water formula. Mass of the water by volume of the water. As per definition both volumes are same. So we can cancel. Denominator, denominator cancel. What remains here? Mass of the substance by mass of the water. This gives the formula of relative density. Now, relative density is equal to just mass of the substance, new formula. From this, we also can write this formula. So, relative density is equal to mass of the substance by mass of the water. So, now here, by using relative density, we can understand or we can say the object whether the object sink and flow, sink or float or sink and float. So, here, see, relative density is 1, equal to 1. See, here, when it is relative density equal to 1, when relative density equal to 1, it means what? Numerator and denominator are equal. Numerator, mass of the substance, mass of the water. When both are equal, equal by equal. So, then same, when both are same, same, then what will be, both will be cancelled. So, it can equal, uh, equal to 1, the value equal to 1. Relative density equal to 1 means what? Mass of the substance and mass of the water are equal. We can cancel, we will get 1. So, at this, in this case, that object, when you drop the object in the water, what will happen? The object weight and water weight both are same. So, then uh, what will happen? That will not sink not float. What will happen? Sink and float. How it is happen? See how it, how it will be. For example, this is the surface of the water. Then object, this is the object. This object sink in the under to the surface, under the surface and float. Not completely sink. It is just under the surface and sink and float in the water. So, this is called sink and float. When it is relative density is equal to 1. Why it is relative density equal to 1? Both are equal. Both are equal. So, sink and float. So, next case. Relative density is greater than 1. Greater than 1, one means what? It is improper fraction. Improper fraction. Any improper fraction is greater than 1. So, that means relative density is greater than 1. Improper fraction. Improper fraction always numerator is greater than the denominator. So, mass of the substance is greater than mass of the water. So, then what will happen? Substance weight is more than the water weight. So, then what generally? That will sink. Substance overcomes the water and sink completely. Completely sink. If you compare this here, relative density less than 1. When it is less than 1, it is any fraction less than 1. When it is happen, that is a proper fraction. Proper fraction is what the denominator is greater than numerator. Denominator is greater than uh, it is proper fraction. So, denominator greater means what the water weight is more than substance weight. Water weight is more than substance weight. Here, mass of the water is more than mass of the substance. Then what will happen? Generally, water weight, mass of the water is more than the substance. Then what will Water only overcomes the substance. What, uh, then uh, substance will float above the water. So, that is happening here. Substance or object float above the liquid. 
So such a way, uh, if the relative density is less than one, that is the proper fraction. Proper fraction denominator is greater. Denominator greater means what? Water weight, water mass is greater than substance mass. Then what will happen? So water overcomes the water weight only overcomes the substance. That is why substance flows. Substance flows above the water. Now that is. Uh, these, these uh, by using these relations, we also can say in other form. See, water weight take as water weight of the object, water weight or uh, beyond force. Water weight is equal to water weight equal to beyond force. That is represented with the FB. Now, object weight you take as a W. Object weight you take as a W. And the water weight you take as a FB. The FB means here, see. Water weight also in other forms beyond force. Water weight of the water in other forms beyond force. What is the beyond force? Upward force act by the liquid. Upward force act by the water against the gravity. Weight of the object towards the gravity. Water force against the gravity. Upward force. That is water force. Weight of the object is towards the gravity. This is against the gravity. That is upward force. So we can say upward force, we can say beyond force. Beyond force represented with the FB and the weight of the object represented with the W. Now we can compare them. Compare them. Here see FB equal to W. Means what? Water weight equal to weight of the object. Here as is here. So here as is first case. What will happen here? That uh, sink and float, not completely sink. Just under the surface sink and float. Now, if, if the water weight is less than object weight, then what will happen? Object overcomes the water, then completely sink. Then uh, if you compare this uh, water weight beyond force, the water weight also considered as a beyond force. The beyond force is greater than object weight. Object weight. Then what will happen? Beyond force overcomes. Then that is nothing but a water weight. Water weight is equal to beyond force. The beyond force means upward force. Upward force overcomes the weight of the object. So then what will happen? Object will not sink. Object floats. Object floats. Such a way we can uh, uh, we can say whether the object sink or float or sink and float by using relative density. That's all for now. Thank you.